Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Darcel Deneau and I'm teaching perspective in Mosaic Art. I came to Mosaic Art through painting. Once I learned to create my paintings using stained glass and a few other materials, I realized I had stumbled upon something that I had found to be much more exciting than painting. In this online course, I'm going to teach you how to create a two-point perspective building using stained glass. Starting with how to see perspective from different angles, I will show you how to choose the right image and from the best angle. We will talk about horizon line and vanishing points. We will use simple math to make a grid that allows you to scale your image and draw it proportionately onto your substrate or surface. Once your drawing is on the substrate, we will discuss the color palette using stained glass and how you can add found objects for more character and make it your own. We will need to have a basic education in cutting glass for this course. I will demonstrate my version of cutting glass and how, to, how some cuts will need to be more precise while others will be achieved with just simple cuts. Um, I will guide you in making choices to simplify while still achieving a realistic representation of your image. We will not only be discussing two-point perspective, I will, just, I will demonstrate how using color and value will be key to enhancing the depth in your piece. Uh, the intention of this course is to inspire and educate so you can apply these same skills in future projects and more complex compositions. There's a PDF in the next section um, of the suggested tools, materials, and resources to get started. So let's go have some fun. Darcel, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. This course is just such a jam-packed, full of information, and so gratifying, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. I appreciate oh, it. We're so happy to have you here. So before we dive into more about the course, um, I know you are a educated and trained fine art painter, um, but how did you do this sort of, sort of transition to mosaic art? Um, one of my friends pressured me. Um, <laughs> I painted. I was very serious about painting. I painted Detroit urban landscape for many years, and I, I did well with that. And then my friend wanted me to come to a mosaic workshop, so uh -huh. I went, Yes. and I, that was nice, and she wanted me to come to more. <laughs> I was like, I'm a painter, but um, I decided to try painting one of my mosaic landscapes. In, one of painting in, one of your paintings in mosaic. Instead of painting yeah. it, I did a glass one, uh -huh. and uh, wow, that was, it came out really amazing, and I realized that it was, it was uh, really exciting, and I knew I want to go that way. And now I haven't picked up a paintbrush in a long time. That's that's what's yeah. so incredible. So as you know, Darcel is known for doing the urban landscapes, mostly of Detroit. But for this course, we wanted to simplify it a little bit more so we knew it was achievable. And a lot of times mosaic art can look flat, like you're just looking straight on at something. How do you achieve this depth and dimension in this process? Um, well, perspective, light, shade and color value, depth, uh, those are, there's a lot of things that go into it and uh, understanding how color uh, kind of fades as it recedes and the colors closer to you are more vivid. Uh, those kind of subtle little things really can um, make, a, make an image have some depth. So why you're seeing a photo here and this next to it is because this is what Darcel makes in this course from a blank slate of this cottage to this mosaic. And that's exactly what she goes through in this course is step by step so that if you are new to this or it's something you think would intimidate you, she will show you how to do it. And the key is learning her techniques of what she teaches for drawing on the substrate. But you could take a photo, blow it up, and try doing a carbon copy if you wanted to, to learn and kind of go slowly in that way, do you think? Yes. I would still encourage you to, um, you know, review the lessons on perspective and proportion because they're, they're great skills that uh, will serve you well later. I totally agree. And learning about vanishing points and horizontal line, I mean, horizon line is really what can be key. So my last question is, if you're new to doing this, do you think that beginners can pick this up? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, I talk about a lot of ways to simplify. Uh, if you, you know, you don't put every single board of the house on there, you don't put every single brick. Um, you may want to eliminate windows. Things, you know, make it simple. You know, I kind of encourage everyone to make it simple and not take yourself too seriously and if it, you know just kind of to fake some things and 
um, along the way you gain the confidence to uh, take on bigger projects and apply some of these skills to more complex um, compositions where mul you have multiple buildings or uh, anything, cars and people, you can apply these same skills um, to many, many kind of uh, situations. Well, I can't thank you enough for coming to Mosaic Arts Online, bringing this amazing course, and I think the students have a lot to learn. I think it's totally achievable, and I can't thank you enough. Well, thank you so much for having me. Yep.